Hi, this is Robert McCune, and I'm in my 13th year at North Kansas City High School uh, teaching history and government. Um, North Kansas City is a diverse school just north of downtown KC. Uh, I live in Overland Park, Kansas. Um, this is my first year not coaching anything. Um, it's also my second year um, working with student council, which keeps me busy. Um, other kind of leadership positions I'm in and working on, uh, I'm on the building leadership team. Um, I'm involved in the Superintendent's Leadership Institute, um, and I'm a board member on the Education Foundation for a year. Um, my wife and I have a 14-month-old daughter, um, and the person who has had the most influence on my life is my dad. Um, as a teacher himself, he taught me how to be passionate about education, and also my love affair with sports can be attributable to him too. And looking at the uh, survey we took, um, a couple that stood out to me, uh, emotional stability and agreeableness were the highest ones uh, for me. And I think everything is pretty much on point for that. Um, the lowest was intellectual or intellect and imagination. Um, I can't really disagree with those um, with anything that was on there. As far as the um, two leadership theories that I um, and looking at and developed, um, one was the situational leadership theory and the other was the democratic or participative uh, theory. Uh, in both cases, I think you have to be agreeable to listen to different perspectives um, and have that help in the decision-making process. Um, you have to listen to what people are saying um, and then be able to uh, bring that all together and eventually make a decision. I also think it helps to be even tempered, uh, which goes along with the survey results, uh, particularly in the democratic, um, when you are listening to those different perspectives in a collaboration type setting. Um, but you also need to um, be kind of understand who you are and what your emotions are um, when you get in that situational leadership, when kind of different situations tell you uh, what needs to be done and you can go and show some of that emotion if that um, situation uh, calls for it. Um, I think that also both of those come with uh, building relationships and knowing who you're dealing with. Um, and in part, it is really getting to know uh, who you're working with. Thank you.